guys, welcome to today's video. So today I'm giving you a review of the brand new Summer Fridays Shade Drops. This is a broad spectrum SPF 30 mineral milk sunscreen and I was so excited for this launch. I was really excited about this. I get really excited with any sunscreen launch. I just love sunscreen so much and I love testing them out. I love reviewing them for you and I really do like to put it to the test and you know the drill. I like to test out my sunscreens with different skincare products, different serums, different textures of moisturizers. I also like to test them out with different types of makeup as well. Cream, liquid, powder and sunscreen is so important and it's really important to find one that works for you that works with your skincare products and your makeup especially if you're someone that wears makeup on an everyday basis so this is something that i have put to the test and i cannot wait to review this i also have a clip that i'm going to be inserting in this video of me applying this to my skin so of course you get to see what it looks like and we're just going to get right into it okay so don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification notification bell and also don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up as well. So the reason why I was so excited to try this is because this is a mineral sunscreen also known as physical and with physical sunscreens these are more gentle they are safer to use and I personally never experience irritation or sensitivities so this is why I like to stick with mineral based sunscreens as much as I can because of that reason now with chemical sunscreens there are different filters and a lot of skin types can become quite sensitive to chemical. You know, there is octocrylin, there's octanoxate, there's avobenzone, there are different filters, and depending on what you're sensitive to and what you're not, you have some options there. But with chemical, you also get that sunscreen smell, and I really hate that smell. I really do. Now, with mineral sunscreens, you can find zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. And some sunscreens will contain both and some will contain one or the other. Now, this is a broad spectrum SPF. And that's what you want when you're looking for a sunscreen because this is going to protect your skin from UVA and UVB rays. So UVA, I like to think of it as aging. This has a longer wavelength. So this is actually going to travel deeper into your skin, creating damage, fine lines and wrinkles, discoloration, and so on. And UVB, I like to think of it as burning. This has a shorter wavelength. So this is going to create sunburns. So broad spectrum is really important and this has it. And this has an SPF 30, which is nice as well. Now, typically I like using something a little bit higher, like an SPF 50 or maybe an SPF 40 or 45, but an SPF 30 is still good. Now I did read somewhere that SPF 30 can actually block 97% of UV rays, whereas with an SPF 50, this can actually help to block 98% of UV rays. So that is really good to know. So if you're stressing whether or not you should go with an SPF 30 or a 50, honestly, either one is going to be sufficient. Use a sunscreen that is going to work for you and just make sure that you reapply it. You wanna make sure that you reapply your sunscreens every two hours. This also contains a zinc oxide of 9.4%. This also has a milky texture to it. So it's almost like a milky serum. That's how thin and lightweight it is. And I really love sunscreens that have this texture because I feel like they spread across the skin. You get more of that even application. And I also find that these types of textures absorb quicker compared to those thick, creamy sunscreens. So I love how lightweight this is. I also think that this is gonna be great for all skin types, including oily and dry. I have normal to combination skin and my skin absolutely loves this. This is also gonna provide your skin with that natural finish. So it's not mattifying, it's not glowy and greasy. It's also not sticky or tacky. This is going to dry down skin-like and it's really beautiful. There might be a little bit of a sheen, but nothing crazy. I actually like to use this on its own without any makeup, but then of course I do like to use this underneath makeup and I've never experienced peeling with this whatsoever. This is also fragrance-free, reef safe, it's vegan, it's hydrating, there's squalene in here. There is also vitamin E and antioxidants to protect our skin from the environment and this is also 
also another sunscreen that doesn't contain that gross sunscreen smell, which is really nice. Now, this is not water resistant, and that is one downfall that I will say with this sunscreen, that is a con. I rather use sunscreens that are water resistant, especially during the summer months because we're sweating. We're gonna be outdoors, maybe we're playing sports or we're gonna be swimming and we're gonna be in water. It's really important to be using a sunscreen that is water resistant. So if you're doing any of those activities, I would not grab for this. I would grab for a sunscreen that is water resistant. But of course, those days where you don't plan on sweating or you plan on going to the office or something that is very low key, this will be a wonderful, wonderful sunscreen to resort to. Now you are getting 50 mils of product and this retails at $47 Canadian and this retails at $36 American. Now I don't find that to be too expensive because this is a sunscreen that I really love, right? This works with my skincare, with my makeup. I don't experience irritation. This doesn't break me out. And I really love the texture. And this is also a sunscreen that I would gravitate towards every day. And so because of that, I don't mind spending $47 on a sunscreen that I'm gonna be using on an everyday basis. That is considered the best sunscreen. The best sunscreen is one that works for you and one that you are going to use every single day. So to me, this is worth $47 Canadian, but maybe for you, maybe not so much. It just depends if this is going to work for you or if this is the type of formulation that you like. With sunscreens, it's trial and error. Once we find one that we like, stick with it and just keep using it because that is considered the best sunscreen at the end of the day. All right, so let me show you how it applies and what it looks like on my skin. So you wanna shake this sunscreen really well before dispensing and this packaging reminds me of the La Roche-Posay Enthelius Fluid. I really love that little spout and I'm applying the two finger rule here So I'm drawing a thick line from the base of my finger to the tip of my finger and it is recommended to apply Approximately two to three finger lengths of product for maximum coverage for that SPF number And I generally always apply two fingers. So as you can see I'm applying this all over including my neck area I'm also applying this to my under eyes my eyelids as well as underneath my brow bone and I'm also applying it to my earlobes and the tops of my ears and I feel like that is one spot where we forget to apply sunscreen and it is so important to apply it there as well so as you can see it is blending really nice into my skin it is almost completely absorbed and I don't have a white cast at all I think that this formulation will truly look good on so many skin tones I really do and I love how easy this is to apply and it's also very moisturizing as well so as you can see it looks very natural really beautiful and everything is completely absorbed with no white cast this also has a naturally derived tint that is supposed to work on all skin tones, including darker skin. And as you saw in my video clip, this does have that beigey, creamy, pale yellow tone. So it's not a brown shade, but for some reason it just works. And I'm not complaining, I really like that. This also contains urea, and I forgot to mention that early on. It is further down in the ingredient list, but this ingredient is actually great if you have dry patches and dryness. So if you're more on that drier side of a skin type, I think you are going to absolutely love this. And sometimes I actually skip a moisturizer, and this is hydrating enough on its own, especially this time of year. So I love it, I 100% approve, and this is one of my newest favorites, and I can see myself gravitating towards this the most this coming summer. I actually like this way better than everything else that I have right now, probably because it's new and it's a new obsession, but this is truly wonderful, and again, I think you should try it out, I really do. But let me know if you will be trying it. Have you picked it up yet and do you like it? Let's get a conversation going in the comments section. I will also leave this product below for you for your reference, including my sunscreen video that I talked about early on. If you would like some other options, especially tinted options, I will leave that video below for you. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And of course, I will see you all in the next video. Take care and I will see you guys then. Bye guys.